Okay, welcome everybody to the weekly share of the Zerat Shimshin. And uh, I have some interesting, it's Dalid, oh, excuse me, <laughs> one thing at a time. So if you're wondering where my periods went, they're flying mess and I put them under my yarmulke. <laughs> okay, and the second thing is, um, I know this is a little in, um, unusual. I'm kind of, there's so much to talk about in Toldos that I'm actually speaking splitting it up here into, I'm, I'm trying to pick out something that's relevant and and interesting and uh, hopefully you'll get something out of it. I'm going to break it up into uh, different pieces because of, there's a one, there's one point I'm going to This is Parshish Toldais, Zer Shimshin, and it's Capital Dalit, but I'm starting in the middle and I'm uh, going to finish in the middle. It's too long. But there's a point to this that's very interesting. And I know everybody's going to have a lot of questions about this. So we'll, we'll just do the what we can here. So it says in the middle, it says, the, he brings a Gemara in Saita and Dafiyat Beis. Um, at base, it says, we say, Amrina, and we say there, the Hanashim said, Kaniyais, Lahoyo Bepiska Shechava. So the, the, the righteous women. We're not in the same, um, let's say, uh, decree under Eschava had, okay? That means that they, they, and God told Chava after she sinned that she would have uh, tr uh, birth pangs and it would be difficult births and whatever. So but it's, wish, the women that are at on the ice shouldn't have this, okay? Now, that what's it called? It's at on the ice. I will leave that to everybody else to decide. However, one of the pe people that we're talking about is for sure Rivka, okay? So let's see that. Shahari, the Vade Loi Tila, Nokiim Hatsadikim. So that was, they would surely only have give birth to the rich and the righteous men. That's the main point. Not that they wouldn't have so much. Uh, difficulty having birth, but they would give birth to righteous men. They don't even have to bury the, bear the regular types of aggravation that, that women do have in childbirth, in, in uh, pregnancy and childbirth. So even more, it's the double aggravation that if you give birth and it it causes any woman aggravation. Well, let them then they have a child that goes off the derech. That's even more aggravation. That's double aggravation. Well, we perek test the brachas. It says, "Aminin yeda inish benafshi itzadik rasha." A person knows himself if they're a real tzadik or they're a rasha. Okay, that's another nekuda here, just to add to the to the flavor of this uh, message. And says, therefore, Rivka, she knew, Rivka, she knew she was a righteous woman. So she was prayed on the, her pregnancy, that she was certain about her righteousness, that she shouldn't have a child that was a, that was a Russia. <clears throat> the Ilav Hachi, if it wouldn't be that, if she wasn't praying that she shouldn't have aggravation in the child and in the in the pregnancy and childbirth, she was praying she have a righteous child. Okay, so then she went to Shem Ever to ask the prophecy. He writes it to Habani Bikirva. Right, she was <clears throat> the the children were having. Uh, a fight, quote unquote, in the in the womb. Now I can't imagine what that was like. <laughs> I never was pregnant, so but I, I don't know. <clears throat> I know I felt the kick, kid kicking, but I don't think he was ready to come out. <laughs> Therefore, anyway, Lachain Kishishama is right so abundantly careful. So when she heard or felt that the children were were arguing in her womb, Shahila Tsar Godal. She would have a big, big aggravation from that in the pregnancy. So she was in doubt and 
wondering what's going on over here. So one of two things shouldn't be prevented. Maybe she could say that the righteous women wouldn't be included in the decree against like that was against Chava. So maybe that's not true. Okay. And then it should be the the and then with your children should be born with aggravation also with with pain but ubra he russia and that and that if that was true then maybe the child being born was a russia or maybe the other rule in the shas in the gemara says yada inish menavshi itzadik russia who ain't on emes but he ain't not tzadik so maybe she really doesn't know that that cloud that person knows if they're righteous or not maybe that cloud didn't apply to her or maybe it's not true so maybe she really wasn't at such a tzadikis so what's going on here usually a woman prays in the beginning to get pregnant right and afterwards she's been pregnant she prays she mispalolos then she prays that this that the child should be um, viable and continue to have a long, healthy life. Maybe she should be. She went to ask if she should back out of what she prayed that stam that this child should be righteous. Maybe she make it a, a condition like us, Avram and David made. Maybe if there will be ag- children that would aggravate and anger God, maybe they shouldn't uh, continue to exist. That's what Rashi says. Im king godol tsar ha'ibar. Therefore, the aggravation of her pregnancy was very great. That I was befitting to suffer such an amount of pain and aggravation. Either, either one, reason, one of the two reasons, either that I'm not such a righteous person, and because of that, or because that the righteous women are not in, are, could be included in the the the, uh, the curse of Chava, okay. In Cain to Isi, I made a mistake praying for this pregnancy. Shari, Avram and David pierced me. Divrayim, she imasidim him lahaylid v'shayim lahayu roitzim banim. That they prayed that if their children were going to be wicked, they didn't want children. The Cain hayu roi loy lasses, li lasses, and I should have done the same thing. Maybe she made a mistake in the way she prayed. replied to her. So there will be two heads of many nations. That is Rabbi for the Jewish people and Antoninus. The reason why she's being uh, aggravated so much in her pregnancy is not because of the pregnancy itself. She was definitely at said Tzedekas, and she wasn't included in the, the, the curse that Chava got. And she should also be uh, satisfied that she's not going to have a son of a uh, the son that's a Russia. The aggravation that she's having is because of her merits. 
שעתה הקליפה והקדושה מריבה זו עם זו. So the klipa and the holiness, right? The klipa is the wrong, the bad side, and the holy side are, are, are uh, having a fight with one another. Shakdusha writes it, Shalohaitzi Ashalami Taicha Klipa. The holy side wanted to extract itself from the klipa. Umisham Yotza Antanina Shihiro Apri Anifrad Miapasilis. So that's the fruit that came out. Antaninas was the fruit that came out of the. The dregs, right? The, the no good stuff. Even though Antoninus was a head and a king. And those, if you're the leader and you have that kind of capacity, then you're like the big, the whole, the, 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 the head of all the people and you're included, inclusive of all the people. So like it says by Moshe Rabbeinu, that he shishim riboy neshamas. He had, he was a koilu and neshama koilelis. He was a, a in all inclusive neshama that included all six hundred thousand Jews. The haaroi shav melech shikulim. The mikomokam b'haver yevsher the haklipa leflet b'pamachas kol mashiv b'alav b'kadusha. So not not all the time can the klipa extract and get rid of. What is it swallowed up from the Kedusha? Okay? It got swallowed in from the Kedusha. However, And that's why they had to come two different nations. The Hainu Shte Umais, Edom ve Yisrael. So there were two nations were Edom and Yisrael. Ki, Brachay Sa Uma Shal Esav Yatsa Mimeno Katia Bar Shalom. So now he brings in an interesting number of examples. So the, the, um, the nation of Asa brought out Ketia Bar Sholom, it's a Gemara Navayda Zora. He was a very righteous Jew in Goyim, and he jumped in the fire and he got instant oil in Haba. And Kastira Shal Rebbe Hanania ben Atradian, another righteous Goy, and Shmaya Val Talion, they, they converted, okay, or descended from converts. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir was also descended from converts. The Kama Girim Achirim, watch this, listen to this. Chedesh, the Zera, it's worth all of Zera Shimshon. He says, And Kama Girim Achirim Shiyotsumi Klipas Asaf. Many other Girim came out from the Klipa of the nation of Asaf. Voloi Kain Me Yishmael. But it's not true from the descendants of Yishmael. Kimoisha Omer Chazal. Zero, that's what he means. Since they were in your womb, right, Rivka? So, therefore, it was increased the hold up, the power of holiness. That's what that, that power that she had, she was a righteous lady. She gave the instilled that power in her children, and they were able to turn it around and bring out little epis something out of that nation, even though the general populace was not righteous, but there were righteous people, right? What they call Nitsaitsa Sakadusha. There were sparks of holiness throughout that nation. My shanking was Lishmoyo. Okay, we don't find it. All right, so anyway, have a wonderful Shabbos. I'm delivering this hopefully a little bit early, and everybody should be Parshas told this. And it's a shame we should hear, should be a refuah shleima for those that need a refuah. Chai Rivka Bas, Bas Rachel, very dear friends of ours. And also, uh, it should be a, we should hear good service toyways from the, uh, the kidnapped people, and over 240 people. In Gaza, we should hear good news soon. And a mitzvah shem, we should be have a, a complete um, Yeshua, Vekorev, from all those enemies of Klai Yisrael, Koltov.